Clark can get the rest. That's not a lot at all. to move the epic pile. Thank you, gentlemen. Now we zomp. <laughs> I am so thankful for these people. You guys have no idea. <laughs> I want to personally thank everybody out there who came down today and busted huge butt. This was just, this is epic. We, we just moved a pile that went, well, you've seen the videos. You've been watching the videos. You know what's going on. We just moved 650,000 cubic inches of wood in eight hours. And there's a handful of people who've been here since the beginning. Now, a lot of these guys just showed up the past couple hours. We did, we did fully like 60% of this in the past two hours. But Moose, who is, Hi. well, she died about three hours ago. <laughs> um, I, I was just gonna go on to dinner when 15 people showed up. Yeah. Yeah. So, I marked four. Hey! Not for nothing, but that's a laptop with a time-lapse camera up there. I thought that. You did that? You helped me hang that camera up there. <laughs> this is Quick, who used to have full use of his legs before today. What? It'll make for a Not great part in the time. damn fool did that, I'd understand it, but you were here for the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's going to be a great five oh, seconds. Oh, that's, that's going to be a thing now. This is Quick, <laughs> who's also been here pretty much all day busting ass. Quick has broken himself every day this week on this project. But we're done. 650,000 square inches of floor. And in this case, cubic inches of floor, because they're all about an inch thick. We're not done yet. We have we have a little bit here, but this will be like next week we'll do this. This is this is you and two people and 20 minutes and we've got this done. And then here, check this out. This is kind of cool. I've started the final cleaning. Now, after we get the floor off, it looks like this. This is this is before. Okay, now this floor was put down in like 74 or so and is pretty much pristine because they immediately put a gymnasium floor on top of it. So under it, this is kind of cool. If you look, you can see the tire tracks. Those are tire tracks. Those, those tire tracks are from the bobcats that were here to to help like do the roof or something, I have no idea. But they had, they obviously drove bobcats around in here, um, probably for roofing stuff, or, or maybe for the walls. It, it, the floor might have gone in before the walls. It's entirely possible, I have no idea. But they're really old tire tracks, and that's kind of cool. Um, the next step is we have to vacuum the entire room. That's, I did all this today. I spent many hours trashing my knees with this shot vac and picking up a billion little nails. Um, but the next step is to shot vac everything, once that's done, we start the actual epoxy process, and that all begins with a lot of water. Um, there will be the big acid etch where we etch the floor with citric acid, which is really cool because it sounds really dangerous, but it's not. It's the same stuff that you get in orange juice. Um, and then we're going to pressure wash that off so it's all super clean, and then we start putting down the Rust-Oleum epoxy shield that was donated by the Rust-Oleum Corporation. So you guys are going to get to learn everything you ever wanted to know about epoxy. And once that's done, we seal the room for one week. After a seven-day curing process, the move-in begins. And then things get fun because pallet racks, the Newton's Cradle, all, anything we can fit through those doors comes through in the first batch. Um, right away after the floor is done, they're going to take and put a giant hole in the wall behind me. It'll be 12 foot wide, 14 feet tall. And no, it won't be over there. That's, ignore that door. This door, this is not the door. 
we were going to put the door here, but it turns out there's a roof drain. Um, you can't see it, there's a duct in the way, but there's a roof drain up there, and the pipe comes down through the wall right about, yeah, the edge of the door in two feet. It's right about here. So we had to move the whole door over here. This. This fabulous spot is where the door will be. And it will be big enough that we can bring the big truck inside. Because one of the big complaints that all the neighbors here have had was with the previous tenant, they would throw really big uh, concerts and leave the doors open and piss off the whole neighborhood. So we're making a very big point to spend a lot of money to put a big giant door in. So when we have to unload our truck full of donations, we've got the big, the big box truck, we can actually just open the door, pull the truck inside, close the door, and all the noise of loading and unloading the truck and all that stuff happens indoors. It also gives us the door for the vehicular sciences lab, and now we can work on the big truck inside because it needs a new fuel tank. So, that's what's up. That's what's happening. This is, it's coming together. We've got heat, and I told you guys it was going to be really slow until we got heat, but now we got heat, and things are taking off, and all kinds of cool stuff is happening, and this was our pre-ZOM big trash bag. We moved the pile. So, thank you, all you guys who came out and rocked today. Really, sincerely, deeply, passionately, thank you. I cannot express how amazed I am at what you guys are able to accomplish in the day. It's really cool. This is an excellent example of what happens when we all work together. So if you're local, come on down, volunteer, get involved, be a part of this. It's awesome. And if you're not local, share the videos, tell your friends, get involved, be a member, donate, send gear, send whatever, but get involved. This is going to be the greatest thing you've ever seen. This is my entire life's work, and I do this all for you guys to come and have this awesome place to play. So I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. Learn more at www.thegeekgroup.org, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have fun. That's it. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.